I'm Kevin Smith and we're here on the Gold Coast today having a look at a real tricked up uh, trailer boat. It's a Sea Devil 520 and it's loaded up with some serious Simrad electronics and all sorts of other gear suited to marlin fishing. We're on our way out to go marlin fish now so hopefully we have a good day and uh, for full specs and uh, details on this boat take a look at the PDF below. Right, as I was saying, this 520 is really tricked up. The owners uh, packaged it up with the latest Simrad gear. It's the new uh, NSS Evo 3S systems, and um, it's all coupled together and integrated into the new VHFs, uh, the JL sound system, one kilowatt transducer, amplifiers, all sorts of gear that I'm gonna take a good look at once we're out at sea. Um, you've got a 12 inch here and nine inch there, and yeah, it really, really looks good. As far as the 520 is concerned, uh, the owner, Richie Inglis, who's the marlin guru, he's got it tricked out to suit his style of fishing. Lots of rod holders to suit marlin rods, a big live well at the back for your live bait fishing, a little bit of tackle storage at the back, full length side pockets. And what's interesting with this boat is that the console is further forward. So you have a small little cuddy style cabin in the front there for extra storage. And it's all about space. He's trying to maximize all the space on this boat, considering it's actually quite a small boat. All right, so just taking a quick look at uh, the gear on board. Simrad System NSS Evo 3S uh, units, the latest, and then coupled up with a one kilowatt transducer. Main uh, Navionic screen will be your 9 inch on this side and then he's got the big 12 inch for uh, set up for the sonar and finding fish. I've left a bit of bait um, on the screen here. Now if you take a close look at the bait, you can see how uh, clear it is. The resolution on these screens is fantastic. And um, we've just finished up on about a 90 kilo marlin now. And what we have found is that when we've seen the marlin sitting off the side, which has just been a normal little arc where there's been bait affected, we've gone and hooked up on it. So very, very accurate system. He's got a low chirp here, high chirp there. You can see the difference between the frequencies and we have got the gain set quite high. Now you can bring that gain down to give you like a crystal clear background. But what we do find is you're finding, um, you know, a lot more of the other types of fish species and baits around it are not as clear when you bring the gain too far down so it's up to you when I travel I like to bring my gain down and when I stop I like to bring my gain up like this as well so a really good uh, clear system and uh, nice and accurate as well so it's definitely helped us find fish today also very user friendly if you want to use the autopilot it's just a simple little menu on the side here set your course engage and off you go autopilot you might think on a small boat like this is a bit overkill but man, today it's really helped because it's helped us keep good dead tracks into the current and the wind. Conditions have been horrific out here, in my opinion. And um, yeah, I'm, overall I'm actually really impressed at what this little boat can do. It's had a flogging today and um, yeah, pretty, pretty impressed. Right, we've just got back, it's now Pop past five in the afternoon and uh, we launched at 6 30 this morning and um, yeah had quite an eventful day out at sea uh, i wasn't expecting the conditions to be that bad but uh, we had about probably up to four meters swell out there in all different directions a lot of current and um, variable winds from every flipping direction so if it was a normal day i probably would have gone out through the seaway and turned around and come home however the owner richie of this boat the marlin whisperer and guru was adamant we were going out 20 miles offshore. Uh, needless to say, we were pretty successful, got a couple of good fish, biggest went close to probably 90 kilos, 
um, back breaking stuff at times, but uh, fantastic day chasing the mile in. All right, a quick recap on the day. I mean, the biggest part would have been having a look at this high-end Simrad gear on board. We ran through it this morning. I did a little video clip out at sea showing a couple of different bait uh, screens and things like that. Amazing gear all around. Big 12 inch, nine inch. Um, he's got the JL audio that pumps some good tunes. VHF, everything else all integrated into the whole system. So really user friendly, crystal clear resolution and all around really, really nice system. Um, as for the boat, now I wasn't expecting much. This boat's not very big. It's a 520, so 5.2 meters or so. It does run a 24 degree dead rise, which I was quite surprised. What that created out there was a phenomenal ride in the rough conditions. And when I say it was rough, it was disgustingly rough out there. Um, at times I thought the police were after us because this boat was being driven like it was stolen. I had a couple of white knuckle uh, scenarios. I'm probably going to need to change my rods when I get home. But anyway, it was uh, exceptionally good on the ride. I was blown away at what this thing can do. If you want to drive a boat hard out at sea and in rough conditions, drive or buy one of these things. They're bloody amazing. On the way out, 20 knots was like an average speed that I saw out there. Incredible. Um, coming back, I saw 30 knots at times, and that was going into troughs all over the show. It doesn't broach, it doesn't yaw, it doesn't do anything. A couple of bangs every now and then, but man, it was to be expected when you're doing 30 knots and ramping waves. I reckon a good option for this boat when you're uh, ticking the option boxes is go for the wings, if they've got it, because you could probably fly everywhere in it.